Welcome back into Wake Up America. I'm Rob Finnerty. So Senator Bob Menendez of New Jersey, who's been in the news a lot lately, but really it's been quiet for the past couple of weeks with everything else going on, was charged yesterday for conspiring for years to act as a foreign agent for the Egyptian government while holding a powerful role in shaping U.S. foreign policy. He was chair of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. We're joined now by former New Jersey Superior Court Judge Andrew Napolitano for a reaction to that judge. This is pretty unbelievable. Um, yeah, Senator Menendez, so he was, he was handed what they call a superseding indictment, essentially accusing him of acting as a foreign agent for Egypt. What does this mean? All right, so the superseding indictment is just a new indictment that reincorporates the charges in the original indictment, but adds one more charge which in this case, as you just said, Rob, is the uh, conspiracy to act as a foreign agent. So the allegation is that he actually, as a sitting U.S. senator, became an agent for, is uh, for Egypt and did favors for Egypt. What were those favors? Well, he gave the names and identifying information of all Americans working and living in the U.S. Embassy in Cairo. Now, that information is technically not classified, but it's still secret, and it could be harmful. We don't know why he gave that, but he gave that to uh, an Egyptian intelligence agent. Second thing, and the public needs to know this, even if Congress has authorized foreign aid to a country, the chair of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, of which Senator Menendez was until he stepped down uh, last year, can hold up that aid on his or her own. So the allegation is Senator Menendez held up on the aid to Israel, which in this case was ammunition for uh, Israel. I meant yeah. to say, pardon me, which in this case was ammunition for uh, Egyptian military weapons. He held up on that aid until in intelligence agents paid uh, uh, Egyptian businessmen in Bergen County, New Jersey, who paid Mrs. Menendez, so stated differently until he received a bribe. My now, goodness. And, and, and you were a judge in, in New Jersey. I, I want to know what he's facing here when it comes to time, but also why, why don't Democrats register as foreign agents? Look at Hunter Biden. He, he dodged a, a fair charge um, in Ukraine. And now you look at Bob Menendez. This is incredibly serious. And people say, well, what did he get for acting as a foreign agent? Remember all those gold bars that were found at his house in New Jersey right. and that black convertible right. Mercedes Benz that was in his driveway right. that he didn't pay for? Right, right. right. You, ha you, have, you have that exactly right, Rob. Again, according to the, uh, according to the government's uh, allegations. Now, he's been charged with conspiracy to be a foreign agent, not being a foreign agent. That's a radical difference. It, it, the, the government was, was brilliant in the way they crafted this, in my view because it is far easier to prove a conspiracy, which is just an agreement, than to prove actual agency. If they were gonna have to prove actual agency, they'd have to bring in Egyptian foreign agents to New York City right. to testify against Senator Menendez, and that would materially uh, disrupt the relations between Egypt uh, and the United States. They don't wanna do that. And, and you know what, Judge, we've talked about how this. How much time is he facing? The rest of his life in jail He's 69 years old. He's facing 20 years. Wow. 20. Wow. If convicted of this. Uh, his wife as well. Uh, by the way, I notice that everyone, the government at least, requesting speedy trials in the four Trump indictments. But nobody wants a speedy trial for Hunter Biden or Bob Menendez. Why is that? Well, the defendant has the right to speedy trial. So the defendant is the one that must ask for that right. The government always says it's ready. In reality, it's not. In reality, both sides want more time. But when the defendant demands it, as two defendants did in the Trump case in Georgia, two of those lawyers are, are going to trial in next week. Right. When the defendant demands it, the court is supposed to give it. But defendants, just like the government, uh, are rarely ready to go. As we First know, First time in American history that a sitting U.S. senator has being accused of being a foreign agent. All right. Something tells me you're not going to hear that on CNN this morning. Uh, but, Judge, I know that you will stay on top of it, and we will continue to track that case as it makes its way through the, uh, the courts there in New Jersey. Thanks so much for being with us, Judge. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You, you too, Rob. All